Addy Shupin versus Rubiel Mosquera, Big Neckzilla. Is it possible for this big newcomer, Nexilla, to win the 2024 Arnold Classic? If so, he will have to defeat the likes of Hattie Shupin, former Mr. Olympia champion. Gonna be exciting, guys. But is it a realistic prospect? Or are people just a little bit too excited over this big newcomer, Rubio? Well, as I went through these shots, these poses... I realized that it is going to be upper body versus lower body. Hattie Shupin, he has a very wide clavicle. As you can see, he has some goodies there, some lats that are they're going to be unbeatable in this comparison, that is. Not saying that he, uh, he won't be matched by other gentlemen in that region. But this newcomer, I expect him to be opening up a whole lot bo uh, more, a whole lot better in this shot. At least I, I hope he does. I'm sure he's been working with Chris Cormier. He's been showing him at a, you know, you know, open up when you pose with this shot. Just like Hattie Shupin is. He does have the groceries. Does uh, Rubiel in terms of arm development. But he's just, again, he doesn't have them opened up. Pronounced. Now, in terms of the lower half, of course, guys. Rubiel. He's going to be winning in that aspect, although it is worth to mention, not the best lighting here at the Olympia. So it could be a case where Hattie's just much more peeled in the lower half. It's possible, definitely possible. Here's the front lat spread, and again, you have to point to the lighting. Hattie has some lats. They're good, they're good. It's just in this lighting, you can't see them. They're being faded away, and you can see the light shining, just gleaming. Off those nice big lats of Nexilla. Unbelievable. He has much more of a balance in this shot, Rubio. And almost perfectly balanced. I mean, well, I mean, those, those legs are just too big. Too big. Not too big. I'm not criticizing the guy. I'm sure a lot of people will say his balance is off, things of that nature. Hey. I'd much rather have it this way than the other way. Little legs. I'm not saying Hattie has little legs. He's balanced. I just think that... I think he's being out-muscled in this front lat spread. But it's close, and the front double would have been uh, going to Hattie. Now you turn to the side, and this is a legitimate victory for Rubio. From the side, he has some separation in those legs. Reminiscent of your big Rammy. Reminiscent, and in the upper body, at least in this shot, I would suggest there is a almost a perfect balance. He's not twisted like Hattie Shupin is, makes him look like he's bigger. But you have to face the facts, guys. He's almost doing a, a William Bonac, and I'm not criticizing William. I like William. But it's just, I, I like the side chest, you know. And if, you're not, if you don't have it, you don't hit it. But it's not a front chest, it is a side chest, and I would give it to Rubio and the side tricep as well. So it is a serious threat to Hattie Shupin. I'm sure there's some people at home thinking, You're crazy, Marks Max Muscle. This newcomer only competed once as a pro. Yeah, buddy, in bodybuilding, it doesn't really matter how often you have competed as long as you're the better body you know how do you think the great ones get to the top so quickly not ronnie king coleman but some of them some of them so yes from the side i don't think there's much of an argument you can see the separation is there he has good condition definitely has the size from the front it would go to hattie and both shots well it's close close from the side you're going to go with uh, Rubiel, I would suggest, in both shots. So, it is a threat going into the back shot. And here is where Hattie Shupin puts his feet in the ground and stomps and says, Nuh-uh. These new cats are not going to make a fool out of me. They're not going to defeat me on their second time out. Another guy out there, too, trying to do the same thing. Then he'll... If you guys know who I'm talking about, or some day, and I'm sure he's going to fall the waistline too. He's going to lose in these back shots to Hattie Shupin. Look at the size difference of the back. 
And this is a much bigger dude, obviously the lower half. And condition might be a more serious question here. Is he losing that bad in condition? I'll mention again, the lighting, different lighting, better lighting, more favorable. So under the same gleams, under the same peepers, I would suggest Hattie. Yeah, he's going to be in next level condition, type condition. Although worth to mention, Rubiel Nexilla, he had some decent condition, I would suggest. But he's not defeating Hattie, especially after I seen this back. Like the lats, look at the lats themselves. So some work to do for sure for Rubiel Mosquera. But the guy competed once. Okay, okay. Not a bad shot here. Rubiel's back, almost as big as Hattie's. Hattie has such a big, wide clavicle. Look at that. Huh? Marge Simpson. Remember the time Homer heard that carpet cleaner? Huh? 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 Thought it was Marge. No? Uh -huh. Either way, yeah, the back, even in the better shot of Nexilla. From behind, he's winning on the neck. See the traps? The neck? Look at that. He's definitely beating Hattie Shupin on that aspect. But it is a whole physique, upper body versus lower body, and Hattie... Winning on condition, plus the upper half. So, I think that equates to a victory. Of course, keeping in mind that the lighting, I'm sure once they're under the same light, it's going to make a, a big difference in terms of conditioning. I will say, though, Rubial Nexilla, his conditioning, not bad, not bad at all. And who knows, who knows, given the right, uh, the right lineups, He's definitely going to be winning one of these pro shows coming up. Here's the abs and thigh. Now, if Rubiel, I know, bodybuilding's all about ifs, ifs. If he does have close, we'll say close to the same condition as Hattie, then he, he could actually beat him if he was winning these last two shots. But it's not going to happen, even if that conditioning theory, if they were the same condition. And that's possible. That's possible. Hattie could come in way off. He's used to competing at the Olympia only, so... I'm sure he's going to come in peeled, though. And yes, Hattie's definitely showing his dominance. The upper body, lower body balance worth much more in this abs and thigh shot than, say, a side chest or even the front lat spread, surprisingly. Uh, so Rubiel, he does have some lats, and you can even see here he just needs to, like I said, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but uh, don't open up. You know, do it. And here is the most muscular. Do it now. Hit the most muscular pose. Look at those big delts on Hattie. Uh-huh. Some saying or just big round delts? Hmm. Some big round delts, clavicle width, and a little bit of subsang. Not much in the subsang department and. uh... For uh, Rubiel Mosquera, you guys can fill the people that are confused in in the comment section below. If you know what I'm saying. So yes, Hattie Shupin, he is going to defeat Rubiel Nexilla Mosquera. Unless Rubiel finds the formula to open up more in that front double. And to come in super peeled. If that happens, then yeah. But I mean, throwing on that much more peel is... Oh, okay, man. Here, here is a different shot here. But still, Hattie, that upper body, absolute supreme. Lower half, there's some possibilities for this man. Aesthetics, things of that nature, midsection. Hattie, Hattie winning on the back. Condition. Things of that nature. But, I mean, come on now. Sky is the limit for this great big Rubiel Nexilla. Rubiel Mosquera, otherwise known as Nexilla. Well, oh, come on. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you have not already. And if you would like to, you know, check out my latest video as well. And there is a playlist if you want to really help me out. You could watch a bunch of videos as well. Have a great one, ladies and gentlemen. Well, come on, Billy!